Summer is almost upon us. In fact, it's right around the corner. That means it's time to spend time with the kids. I have such fond memories of going out with the cane pole, going fishing with my uncle, my dad, my brother, and all that. So Matt Rogers is here. He's been out fishing a little bit. It's good to have you back. From Thank Tennessee. you. It's good Spending to be back. Oh, it's really, really good to see you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. so you may or may not know, but uh, we just moved to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, which has been a great opportunity for me to do exactly what you said you've done with your family yeah. and fish with my boys. We actually have a pond right behind our house. Take a look. We've been spending some time. Right, last cast. I'm going to get it on tape. I feel good about this one. Bring the There you go. Slower. Right. I mean, so it's it's great. That's after about two days of me helping him cast because it was a nightmare at yeah. first. Really? Yeah, it takes a lot of patience. Why? Why yeah. was it so bad? Because, you know, kids just, like anything else, you got to teach them, which is in the open. We talked about if I could teach them, I yeah. could probably teach kids. You know, you By can, the way, you look fantastic. Let me tell you, <laughs> that looks great. And you know, it's a good way to get your kids to really learn and pay attention is you tell them they got to catch their dinner. That's right. Well, they don't did eat, you they catch don't anything, by the way? I did. I think we have a picture. Look at that. That's a five and a half wow. pound largemouth, baby. What? I'm not messing around. They it, stock that thing every two weeks, and there's really? actually. There's no catch and release? No, it, it's all catch oh. and release. Oh. Okay. Unless I get hungry, I might. <laughs> yeah. You know, bass is great. But these are some cool hacks. So, first of all, this one of the problems is, especially with kids, when you take the poles, they fall everywhere. They're in the garage. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. when you just put them together, the lines get tangled. So, simply take. Bungee balls, wrap around twice. Those are great little things. I bought a, they come in a little jar. Mm -hmm. They look like hair things you and put on your they hair. Look like a ponytail. This yeah. is a yeah. cool little thing. I promise mm. you it works. You set it aside in your garage. Your Beautiful. lines won't tangle and you will not damage your poles. It's organized. Especially for the high end fishermen out there. You wives know that some of your husbands take it seriously. You can get up to four or $500 poles. Oh, you don't yeah. want to mess them yeah. up. Oh, no. Yeah. Next. So, like I said, we stock that pond and there is a myth that there's a 40 pound catfish. Like in the there. Loch Ness monster. Yes. But you can't use crankbait or bobbers or any type of, you have to use stink bait. Catfish say at the bottom, they love worms, they love stuff that stinks. So when we first bought that, brand new garage, my wife was freaking out. She goes, oh my God, get that out of here. So she actually showed me. What does it smell like? Our um, wipe holders mm -hmm. can Baby actually wipes. hold. So look at you can't smell anything. No. No, I'm serious, you can't smell anything. No. But look at what it smells like. <laughs> smell it. Really? There's like dead yeah, worms in there. Oh my goodness. That's bad. That's bad. Really bad. Bad. Simple technique. Baby wipes. Put it in there. Close it and look at it. For real, you can't smell it. I know at you some can't. point you're going to slide that under her side of the bed oh. and just leave it there. Oh, my God. I will really in your probably not joke. have a wife much yeah, after that. Exactly. So the other cool thing, real cool tip, is that you can insulate this and make it cool for live bait. If you want to put some ice around it, you can keep oh, your worms great. alive. Next, for our bobber fishermen out there, a lot of people, especially when they travel, if they misplace their bobbers or they run out, just take a simple um, earplug. Ear earplug. Ear yeah, Paul. This is the. I put a cork on the end of this and hook. Your wine bottle. Just, no, this is just so no one hurts themselves. But oh. you put your uh, put your hook in the water, and then your earplug works as a bobber. So when you get a bite, boom, the bobber sinks, mm -hmm. and you know you got a is bite. Is that how you protect the ear so you don't get hooked? I did this for thing? you and Kim. Oh, Me so and Mark are totally yeah. comfortable around hooks, but yeah, I don't, yeah. you know, you guys are too pretty for this stuff. So oh, it's for your yeah. safety. Wow, I'm you tough. just snorted, and I heard that. I'm, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm tough. All right, <laughs> and she's a loud one. Yeah. yeah. Lastly, before we get to casting, most people wear sunglasses. It gets very shiny out there. They wear their glasses, but a lot of times they fall off and they drop them in the water. Oh, they're gone. Simply oh. put a wine cork on the back of the glasses, what? and it'll float. Because there's a 30-pound eyeglasses at the bottom there too, I along with that bass. It. You have they to talk to you about your wine consumption since you went to Tennessee. Yeah. There's a lot of corks. Yeah. Seriously, and uh, you know, it's carried over to California. So here we go. Now to casting. But wait, right. do we need to flood the backyard or something? What's with the yeah. the waiters here? Uh, this was in Kim's trailer, and yep. I thought it would be good. <laughs> okay, nice okay. Little outfit. All right. nice. Christine and I laugh a lot, and we <laughs> sometimes can't get to the bathroom. <laughs> so we That's embrace my segment. For. That's not what they're for. Yeah. Oh, so, all right, cast. Yes. Kim, Show in us. all honesty, yes, I how many times have you cast? Are you a Fisher woman. I am from the Great Lakes of Michigan, but I would like to admit that I have never fished. And she's okay. Kim-tastic. Yeah, so Kim she can do it. Exactly. Yes. So before it. we do that, right, we're going to show, I came in earlier this morning, I'm going to show you the uglies, the goods, bads, uglies. So here we go. 
first release point, that's your normal spinner reel, and those are good for accuracy, that's why we use them. As I'm coming back, the release point is too early here, and you're gonna see the trouble oh. that it flies everywhere. Oh, I actually threw it in yeah. a tree, I was not acting. That's what happens when you let it go too early, Mark. Much like a baseball, if you let it go yep. too early, that's not good, especially when there's sharp hooks around. Now, I'm gonna show you what happens when you release too late. That's a late releasing point. You're gonna cross over your body. You're gonna overcast, and unfortunately, I casted them in the flowers that Shirley Kill planted my flowers. last night. Mad. Luckily, I did not hurt the flowers, but then, my friends, here it comes. comes the moment where you flip that spool just perfectly. The sun is setting right, the fish are boiling, and Roger's back, and he releases perfectly. You're going to notice Ferrari, Steinus, and Douglas. The release point is out over the body. <laughs> Perfect cast. Let's show that again in replay because it's replay worthy. Perfect stride, much like Tiger Woods on a golf I course. In this case, it's a chubby white version. <laughs> but it's a nice release point right out in Woo! front of your body. You're going to place it perfectly, and you will catch fish. I could do that. I have now. never seen the transition and, and yeah, voiceover yeah. Yeah. play yeah. by I'm play. I'm passionate like that. about this. Y'all yeah. Yeah. Okay. got to get ready in the South. All right, Miss Douglas, are you ready? Up. I did. Here we go. You're all ready. She's all ready. She's all ready. She's not really getting tangled, though. Oh, come here, Kim. Secret? Yeah, I'm coming. So just so you know, at home, if it looks weird, I put a cork over the hook so we wouldn't get hurt, and then we put extra weight on there to simulate the cast. I'm getting back. Don't hit Yanni. You guys. We're moving Come on, no. Okay. So We're done. I'm just gonna let you do it and okay. correct you because you know. And, and you know. wait, you did say okay. So hold the string. Hold the me, string. Hold the string. Hold the string. Hold the string with your right hand. The right hand. Hold the string. Yep. And then you're gonna flip the spool with the left, and then let it fly. Okay. And flip the spoon with the left. Okay. And flip it up. You want to release? There you go. And then let go of the string. Oh, give it heck, Douglas. And go then, for it. Oh, no, nope. she already released it. That. That annoying. seriously could have been bad. Was it? But it was good. Look. Are we moving on, or do you want me to show her? You want to show oh, okay. her? Okay. Show her. What did I do wrong? So let's go. Release okay. it. Come but here, Kimmy. It was Kimmy. pretty good. It was pretty Come good. Come here, sweetheart. Here All we go. right. Take it right here. Yep. And then okay. yes. And then right this. there. And then flip it. Now, all you did was you just let it go. Oh back yes, here. I know what I did. Like wrong. a baseball, let it go okay. in the way. Hold on. Okay. Let me get out of the way. I'm Ready? Get myself. Ready? Ah! Was it good? Was it good? I think my all the fish in Michigan little... are safe and happy. I love that fish. You didn't... 